Hey there everybody, Pete here from Comic Book Users. Welcome to another edition of Favorite Covers in the Co-Captain's Chair as always. Hello again comic book fans, I am Wild Building on Comic. Welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Users. If you love comics, this is the place to be. That's right. So uh, we realize we have not done a favorite cover show of the Avengers yet. And thankfully, we've both been accumulating a lot of Avengers books in recent months. So what better time to do it than today? Uh, I didn't kind of abide by the rules today because he, he does that all the time. So I figure I need to get a little revenge here. So I've got probably more, a bit more than... Revenge! Like a bit more than <laughs> ten, but you know. Um, I'm and, not and, complaining. The Avengers have some awesome covers. So let's see what absolutely. you got. All right, so we're going to go way back to uh, issue number 21. Here we have uh, them tasting defeat at the hands of Power Man. Wow. All right. Yeah, 21. This is, That's yes. going back. So, of course, this is Power Man, not to be confused with Luke Cage. This was the original Power Man. If you remember correctly, in the Luke Cage book, at some point after he changed his name to Power Man, he actually went up against the original Power Man and kicked his ass. Wow. So, But this is a cool issue. And again, this is the Avengers team that's without the services of Thor at the time. So this is Captain America, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver, the two, um, you know, uh, brother and sister there, and Hawkeye. So yeah. not the most powerful uh, Avengers team at and the time. One other little Luke Cage footnote. When he came on the scene, he was Luke Cage hero for hire. Hero for hire, exactly, yes. Now, what happened <clears throat> for him to become Power Man when they switched the title? Did this guy get fired or something? This no, I, I think they just, uh, he, at the time, he, they weren't doing anything with this character, so okay. they just decided to give There's him a lot of that going that, on. Yeah, they just gave him that name. I don't know. I guess the whole hero for hire thing was kind of like, eh, but, uh, you know. I thought Power Man was better. Yeah, I agree. Power Man. Yeah, but then ironically, then they teamed up with Iron Fist and they became the heroes for hire. So it's like, you know, come on, guys, it's a little consistency here. But anyway, um, I like this cover quite a bit. Uh, this is issue number 40. And for the one gentleman who asked in our comments recently, it's like, I, I love you guys showing these comics. Would you, could you please tell us how much you pay for them? I normally don't like doing that. And I normally yeah. don't, I don't keep track of how much I pay for these. But there you'll see a Zap Comics sticker at the top for eight bucks. So you know what I pay for this but this you is really can cool. always and to answer that question you can always search the internet dude there's so many different stores that sell comics online yeah don't go by ebay but right. check out comic book shops just google comic book shops yeah or if you want and we use them all the time we buy from them mycomicshop.com maybe overstreet price guide has something online exactly yep you can go midtown comics there's all sorts of vendors out there that you can kind of get an idea of what some of these are going for that's usually what we do before we go out and buy stuff is we get an idea of you know roughly what uh, what we should be paying for them but uh, anyway uh, i'm getting off the target here so here you have uh there's your answer buddy. giant man <laughs> and uh, hawkeye and hercules kind of confronting the submariner here he's uh, looks, he looks huge the submariner there he does doesn't he? he's on steroids he's, he's all sorts of wide you know what his, his body type kind of looks like that uh, Hulk that you drew in issue number uh, two, right? Of yeah, number movies. two. There we go. Let me look at look at look at the uh, <laughs> look at the torso there. My lord! I, but it doesn't look like he has three arms. You said I had my guy. Three, I know. Three well, arms. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of work to do <laughs> in terms of improvement. <laughs> now, I love this cover a lot, and I think they did a great job of really showing, not just here, a lot of ones that I didn't bring, but this is issue number 51, so you really get the sense of just how big uh, Giant Man was. Of course, that's uh, you know Henry Pym, formerly known as Ant-Man, uh, was Giant Man here for a while. And again, for those of you who want to know, this was $10 at Zap Comics. I have not taken the sticker off. You'll see a few of these probably today. But here, this is a pretty cool issue and a pretty cool cover. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, issue 108, and there's no price on it because I paid a dollar. <laughs> there you go. Not a comic hey, you remembered book. it, all right. So. Yeah, but it's 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 beat up, you know. But normally these things, these are going like 10 bucks a piece. Ever since those movies came out, you know, like psh, with the prices going up through the roof. Yeah. I don't know. So it was a little beat up for, for a buck. You can't, you can't ask for more. But I love the action on these covers, especially... The mid seventies, between seventy and seventy five, the, the event, all the Avenger covers are amazing. Pretty much between one hundred and one seventy five, basically. Yeah, really a lot of good action, even through the thirty cent and thirty five cent issue books. And that, if I remember correctly, I'm sitting here analyzing. I'm pretty sure that is a Barry Windsor Smith cover because he did a couple of issues. Oh yeah, uh, right after his run on okay. Conan, during his run with Conan, and uh, but he was, this was right around that time. Too. Yeah, this is a twenty cent. This is yeah. like 1972, 73. But he did not like doing superheroes. No, stuff. it wasn't his forte. Yeah, nope. Uh, I got. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, on this one. Yeah, I just got this recently. Uh, of course you love it. It's got the Hulk on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got Loki down here. Uh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, 
Issue one eighteen. Uh, this is part of that. Is this part of that Zodiac story? Uh, it might be. I don't. Oh, remember. this is no. This is the Defenders Clash. Story. Oh, the crossover. Yeah, yeah. yeah between yeah. one fifteen. Yeah, because Doc Strange and Namor on the other. Yeah, end. yeah. Is Silver Surfer there? Because I know he was part of that whole thing. No, I don't see. Don't him. you mean Iceman? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and Valkyrie's up there. Yeah, that's part of the Defenders crossover. Yeah, I gotta have that. One nineteen. Yeah, I like this one with the collector collecting his Avenger victims. And then, uh... I picked that one as well. Oh, you did? Okay. okay. Yeah, I did. What else did you get? All right, so let's... Okay, I kind of went in order here. So how about... Uh, and we showed this off in the Supervillain Team one, but here's uh, the Masters of Evil. Okay, led by uh, Claw. You got the Black Knight there, the Whirlwind. Right? He gets around the Claw. He does. <laughs> I kind of I like him, man. He's a pretty cool villain. And here, uh, here they are again. This is an excellent cover. I just picked this up from uh, our friend Chuck recently. Great battle cover right there. What number is that? That is 55. Awesome. 55. Nice, nice haul. Yeah. And then this one. So this is uh, one of the, it's not the first, but one of the first uh, handful of appearances of Ultron. So he appeared in the in the mid-late 50s. It was the first time the, those early issues with the Vision. Uh, but here he is back again. And I like how big and menacing he looks there. Yeah, that's definitely a good cover. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Um, issue 121. Speaking of Zodiac. There you go. Looks <clears throat> at the Minotaur. Yeah. And uh, that, I just recently got this. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite covers for the Avengers. And then... I knew you were going to pick that one. Yeah. 132. Because of Frankenstein. And Thor going against Frankenstein. Who would have ever thought we'd see that, right? Yeah. Definitely awesome cover, man. Mm -hmm. they, they, when this was, I believe... Right when the other Frankenstein title was still going? I think so. Right? Because yeah. he went through the 25 cent issues before he was canceled. Right. Monster right. of Frankenstein. And if you look at the way he's drawn here, that's exactly how they were drawing him with with that kind of like furry uh, yep. son of Frankenstein vest, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, issue 132. All right. How about issue number 70 against the Squadron Sinister? Okay. Which was my oldest Avengers in my collection for a long time. I only had two. This was one. We talked about this whole kind of like two sides coming together thing, which they did so often in the Avengers books. Covers, yeah. Yeah, which I like quite a bit. This was... Yeah, nice Gil Kane cover there. Yeah. yeah. Issue 134. This and number 70, which I got from my friend Tony years ago. Um, issue 134. He gave me all his doubles. This was awesome. He had every Avengers too, man. Oh, really? He had some collection, man. God rest your soul there, Tony. Thank you so much for giving me those books. Yeah, very cool. All right, uh, how about number 71? Look at that. Yeah, look at this. Another cool battle issue, right? So obviously that's the, uh, the Eiffel Tower in the background, so they're fighting in France, right? So you got Namor and Black Panther, Cap, Yellow Jacket, Human Torch, The Vision. Very cool. I uh, got one with issue 101 for like honorable mentions. Neil Adams cover. Look at that. This nice. is definitely cool. <clears throat> yeah. So. Kind of beat up. But it was free. Free is good, right? Yeah. Issue 116. If I ever find a better version. Like oh, this one? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get my hands on it. <laughs> well, what's so bad about it? Let's well, it's beat up. Oh. Look at the whole side up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's used and abused. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't you see You could it almost say my dog ate it. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's kind of, it's rough. That, you know, one, it's, you know, I bought some books from a guy, and he threw me a bone. He threw me this one and another one. I think he gave me 117 also. And I, I was like, no, no, I don't want to buy them. And he's like, no, no. Because I bought some other books. He's like, you got to read this story, man. So thanks so much for that. I and a notable it. book, too, because uh, Vision Against the uh, Silver, Silver Surfer. Surfer. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about number... Here we got the Lethal Legion. Power Man, the Swordsman, Living Laser, and the Man Ape. We showed this uh, off in the, the Super Bowl team. Yep. Yeah. $10 sticker up top. There you go. What else you got? Uh, how about 119? Okay. The collector, I think, did you show Repeat. this, right? Yep. Yeah, but yeah. it's... This is a, I love this cover. Always yeah. have. Always have. So here you have, you know, he's got the collector's got uh, Thor, Cap, Iron Man, and Black Panther kind of frozen there. You got the Vision coming through the wall, and then you got the Swordsman, Wanda, and Mantis in the back trying to come to the rescue. And your price sticker on top. Yes, 
Whoa. Ten dollars. Oh, really? Ten dollars. Okay. What else? Wow, we what? both look at this. What a match. Ten dollars. Well, at least mine was. Five. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the better deal. After shipping. Yeah. Another cool zodiac issue, right? Fighting Yours looks better than mine, though. I well, think. that's probably why it was ten bucks. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> 129. I, I almost pulled that one. I love that cover. Yeah, Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. Which, boys and girls, if you are interested in getting any of the old back issues with Kang, you better get them now because rumors are he might be the next big bad guy uh, in uh, one movies. of the Avengers movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I, I saw buy this, him now. I saw this one at a con a couple of years ago, but it was beat up for like two bucks and I passed on it because it was like really bad on the top. And, uh, but two bucks, you can't go wrong. But I was like, you know what? I'll just hold out and wait. And I found it a couple years later for four bucks. So I'm happy. That's one of those books that I bought off the rack when I was a kid. Loved it, and then during my uh, you know beer beer sales oh. in college, I sold it. Oh. But I've recently got it again. Okay. Speaking of uh, Claw, we talked about him before. This is one of my favorite uh, covers with the Claw next to that classic one in Fantastic Four. But here we go, because of course you know his big arch nemesis is uh, Black Panther. So here you have him kind of controlling the rest of the guys on the team with the Black Panther looming behind. So very, very cool. i got to go with Frankenstein again. Issue 131, honorable mention. Just a, so much action going on in the Avenger covers. And there's another evil team we did not show in the uh, the supervillain team show, right? So here you got uh, Wonder Man and the old Human Torch, right? And whoever that guy in black is. you got Baron Zemo down below. That's uh, What's the name of this evil team? Uh, I don't know. I, I forgot what would say. <laughs> The Legion of the Unliving. The Legion of the Unliving. Which makes sense because at the time Wonder Man was dead. Baron Zemo was long rumored to be dead. The, the original Human Torch, who was an, an android, was dead. And then I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember who that And he was, was put together by. And dead, he, he's dead anyway, Frank right? Yeah. made him out of dead bodies. <laughs> he isn't human. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot about that. All right, how about this this team that we don't know the name of? Titanium Man, Radioactive Man, the Crimson Dynamo, and the Slasher. If you guys haven't seen our episode of uh, of uh, supervillain teams, you need to. That's what we're referencing here. I but. never said I was a comic book expert. <laughs> So we went through this whole book on air, and there's no mention of who this team is. Uh, they I work have no what, shame about it. What do they they call the other three something? And then they added the, the titanium sl- three, the, the, the three titans. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Know. But then they add the slasher. Then they 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 realize he was a complete dick, so they kicked him out, and then everything was well at the end. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I went with uh, issue 138 with the stranger, not uh, not, not the watcher. The watcher. And he's got the right colored hair there. Yes. Either that or he ran out of Grecian formula. No. He's oh, only that one Captain America, issue 150, where he's got the black the hair. Black hair. It's like, what? What you call him the hair club for men? Hair club for men. <laughs> hair club for men, Ed. All uh, right. Uh, how about uh, the Squadron Sinister? Again, love this kind of two-way thing there with the beast kind of flying through the kind air. The, the face-off. The face-off, right? I love when they did this on the, the Enemy books. teams facing off. Absolutely. And I think... But this... they're not going to play hockey. They're going to... They're going to play Slugfest. They're going to play Slugfest. I don't know about you, but I, I kind of like the Beast in the Avengers. Um, it was you know, cool. He's originally an X-Men, but uh, yeah. it was kind of cool to have him on the Avengers. And what happened? He got kicked out of the X-Men, or he had, a, had enough of them? He just left. I don't, I don't really know like a full story about me and him coming. Because I don't have a lot of X-Men. I really wasn't a big X-Men fan, but yeah. that was because of my allowance as a kid. It's almost like you know when, when Beast was not in furry form, he was in the X-Men. And then once he became furry Beast, he was, he was an, <laughs> an Avenger. I like... Issue 149. I just love the action. Oh, with Orca. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good battle. Again, good, good, good action scenes. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Yeah, I like that one. In fact, that's a, that's a, that was a pretty good standoff battle between those two because uh, Orca was pretty pretty powerful. And Orca was originally went a Namor. Yeah, he was a Namor yes. villain, yeah. Uh, I got one more and that's it. Go for it. All right. I got issue 150. But oh, yeah. I'm trying to get all in between 100 and 150. There you but go. I need all. I need a lot between 100 and uh, in the 120s. There, I need a couple in the one. I'm am closing the gaps. Most of the gaps are in the, the between 100 and 110. Yeah, how are you doing on sub 100s? Do you have a lot? I only of have them? four of them. Oh, maybe. really? Okay. Yeah, I don't have a lot of them. So yeah, I'm motoring through mine. It's like. That's been a big, uh, big deal with me is trying to complete as much Those, as I can between one and two hundred. That's I'd, I'd be content with between one hundred and one fifty because that's like the golden era of the seventies for the Avengers, and they kind of got a little bit more intense in the seventies. They were a little bit more cornier in the 
60s. Still really good, though. Those 60s issues are really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, I dig them quite a bit. Um, 148, so here we got the Squadron Sinister now as the Squadron Supreme. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's Hyperion uh, holding Thor up overhead. So that's, and I believe this is a Jack Kirby cover, if I can get it. Didn't he go against the Fantastic Four? Once? Yes, yeah, he yeah. did. Okay. Here's awesome. another Jack Kirby cover. I love this cover. So here you got Doc Doom. What number is that? This is uh, 155. Okay. So here you have, uh, by this point in time, so the Beast is a member of the Avengers, so Wonder Man is now uh, resurrected from the dead and a good guy and a member of the team. Uh, and there you have Doc Doom and Namor, and this is right around the time where they were doing the supervillain team-up. Uh, okay. Book with book. Namor and yeah. Doctor Doom. So, you know, Namor and Doc Doom are sort of aligned here a little bit, right? But a very cool Jack Kirby cover there. Nice. And then uh, this is one I got fairly recently, 161. I like this just because I love the detail. So here you got uh, something's up with Ant-Man, right? Ant-Man is back, and all of the members of the team are getting attacked by a million ants. So <laughs> kind, of, kind of neat. Scarlet Witch it looks like she's getting the worst of it. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. You got Wonder Man and Black Panther. She's and, covered. And this was, uh, this was a $6 purchase, it looks like, based, wow. on the, based on the sticker. And the last one I'm going to show today, a $2 special. I love this cover because I think it's one of the best representations of Hawkeye. Uh, here you got <laughs> Hawkeye back in the picture. And this is issue number 172. So you got on the cover, you got Ms. Marvel, Cap, Vision, and Beast. All right. Nice. A really, really good uh, piece of artwork there. And Speaking of artwork. Keith Pollard, perhaps? Uh, perhaps. Perhaps. 1976? 78. Giant Hawkman issue. Hawkeye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hawkeye. Wrong publisher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there you have uh, a lot of our favorite covers. So, pictures. yeah. Pete just mentioned artwork. So I'm going to treat you guys to some artwork here. Um, I did a little research and I found out I haven't that, seen this yet, by the way. I found out that Thor had a sister. And she wasn't really utilized because of her nature, obviously, as you're going to tell you. But I, I did some research, so I decided to do a cartoon on Thor's sister. We all know about Loki, but uh, Thor had a sister named, ironically, her name rhymed with Thor. I'd like to introduce Whore. <laughs> Thor's sister. The big ass whore. Tales of Asgard. <laughs> and here she is. And this Herpsbian is trying to, she's a call girl from Asgard. And he's trying to offer her five bucks, so she's pissed. So she's going to swing her purse, which has a brick in it. And it's the same metal that consists of Thor's hammer. So, you know, if you're going to approach a goddess for some, you know, call girl goddess, you've got to come up with at least $5,000, you know. Because, you know, Governor Spitzer, he was fooling around with prostitutes with New York taxpayers' dollars for $5,000 an hour. So, anyway, I give you big, the big-ass whore. Tales of Asgard. So... Here you go, Pete. You want to critique, or are you? No, <laughs> I'm like I'm speechless. <laughs> All right, we're we gonna get shut down. I'm afraid. No, I, I, this I is hilarious. So thank you. The tales of and tales like tail. Yeah, like tales of booty. Yes, tales of, of Asgard. Asgard. And I did the R's like. Four. I love your pirate. <laughs> yeah, he's actually a herpsman with five bucks. But yeah, he's a pirate guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't have. I need uh. to go out and get more mark. I wanted to give her pink boots. But anyway, purple works fine. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the big ass whore. You've heard of the mighty Thor? Well, here's your sister. I give you the big ass whore. <laughs> Tales of Asgard. <laughs> so that's it, gang. Um, <sighs> hope we don't get shut down. I got. I got to curb myself. I got to put a leash on myself. I think. <laughs> Too much humor in these cartoons, huh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, he, you can't see. He's got five bucks in his hand, and she's gonna slug away. So. <laughs> So no no mighty uh, hammer. No, it's, it's a, a mighty, purse. Her mighty purse. It's a purse with a brick inside, <laughs> but it's the same substance that consists of Thor's hammer. Gotcha. So, so it's going to pack Mjolnir. a wallop when it hits him. <laughs> so Thor's got the mighty Mjolnir, so she's got the mighty purse. purse I didn't give it a name, but yeah, purse owner. You know. Anyway, there's whore for you. <laughs> Um, um, that's issue number eight. It's still two cents. We haven't had a price increase. So, wow. All right. What a bargain. Uh, and anyway, I'm Wild Bill saying thanks for being here. Hope you liked our show today. Hope you like my cartoon art. Um, I'm sure people are dropping like flies. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Um, thank you as always for being here. We appreciate your support and your comments. And uh, we know you guys love comics as much as we do. That's what this is all about. And uh, please click that like button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time we put out a video. You can be kept in a loop. And uh, that's it for right now. 
Um, I'm Wild Bill saying thanks for being here as always. We appreciate it so much. And I'm dumbfounded and uh, quite entertained. So uh, I am Pete. Uh. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. There's a reason why he doesn't show me these ahead of time, right? So because I, I, I want to be surprised. So I was like, I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. And then, <laughs> did it good? Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. That's so, what it's all about. There you go. Humor. I told you I was an unknown comic, right? <laughs> it's the, the these shows are becoming not not some uh, just as much an unveiling of this stuff as it is of showing the this real topic. stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got a long way before I can get into oh, this. <laughs> viewers, you have you have created a monster here, my loyal viewers. I told that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as you have the time to do it, and you're enjoying it. That's all. That's what it's all about, yeah, right? They do he's going to have somewhere. a scrapbook of like t- by the time we're done with this. It's like uh, yeah, it's definitely an effort, man, and it's uh, you know it's. So do you have a, uh, before we let everybody go, do you have like, was there a specific issue that you based the, uh, the yes. horror uh, art on? I think it was in the 250s. Okay. Uh, I took a, obviously I took a Thor. Man, that's some, comic. that's some bicep on her, huh? Holy moly, look at that. I took, I took a, I took a Thor comic where he's obviously swinging his hammer from this pose, but I, I forget it. I, th- I don't remember if it was in the 250s. Or, or in the low 100s, I forget now. But I did take a Thor comic to uh, use as a guide. But I did this guy off the top of my head. Gotcha. <laughs> the the Herpes so, being pirate. But Tales of Asgard was something I thought of. I thought of Whore, because it rhymes with Thor. So I was just running with the premise. So I thought it was a funny idea. So I hope you guys got a kick out of it. <laughs> I had fun drawing it. It was, it was probably one of my funniest pieces I enjoyed doing this one. So, And I was glad to surprise you, my friend. I so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it. More to come, right? Yes, I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just end it with that. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you next week or next time, whatever. So uh, we'll see you in cyberspace again real soon. Thanks for being here, as always. All right, bye bye, bye bye.